Welcome to the He's Got Issues Marvel Comics Edition number 132.1. I'm John Cooney here to preview new Marvel Comics being released July 30th, 2014, beginning alphabetically with 100th Anniversary Special Guardians of the Galaxy number 1. Just in time for the release of their 7th epic motion picture, the Guardians of the Galaxy are celebrating their 100th anniversary by taking on the Silver Galactus. Next, we have all-new Ghost Rider number 5, Engines of Vengeance. It's the fight you've been waiting for, Ghost Rider versus the modified Mr. Hyde. Robbie Reyes' violent neighborhood has become a full-blown urban battlefield. Can he save it? Will he want to? All-out action and a twist that will hit you at 100 miles per hour. Next, we have Avengers number 33, 50,000 years into the future, Hollow World, Earth's mightiest heroes captured in conceptual space. How do you defeat an idea? Next we have Avengers World number 10, AIM Empire makes its stand. In one catastrophic moment, a world erupts in flames. The uprising begins. We've also got Cyclops number 3. Question, what's the problem with stealing a Badoon ship? Answer, it's a Badoon ship. Corsair and Cyclops experience engine trouble, shipwreck, and have the nice father-son chat they've been avoiding as Ruck and Donnerman continue the smash hit of 2014. Next, we have Deadpool Dracula's Gauntlet, number 4 of 7. You saw Deadpool's marriage to the succubus queen Shikla. Now see their first meeting in romance. The hit series originally presented as a Marvel Infinite comic makes the leap to the paper medium for the first time. When Dracula hires Deadpool to transport a highly valuable delivery for him, he has no idea what kind of trouble he's in for. Guest starring Blade, Modok, Hydra Bob, Werewolf by Night, and more. Hop on with Deadpool for a crazy journey across the world and into the heart of the Merc with a Mouth. We've also got Guardians of the Galaxy number 17. With some new faces on the team, it might be time for the Guardians to have a little team-building vacation. Or, you know, they could keep fighting alien warlords and galactic empires. Guess they'll have to plan that team-building retreat for next month. Next, we have Hawkeye number 19. Kate gets to the bottom of the greatest mystery in the entire Marvel Universe right this very hot second. Just who the H is that guy in the trench coat that seems to live in her cat food aisle? The answer may surprise you. Or maybe not. Maybe you're super good at this kind of thing. Anyway, a simple investigation dovetails into Kate's desperate race to stay one step ahead of the woman that's sworn to kill her, Madame Mask. And what started off as a zany summer vacation gets a little bloody. Buckle up, buttercups. We've also got Iron Man Special Number 1. Continuing the story from June's Uncanny X-Men special number one, Iron Man returns to space to settle a score, but ends up embroiled with the fugitive Uncanny X-Men. Their paths cross in pursuit of Cyclops, who's been kidnapped by mysterious ne'er-do-wells. All this in guest-starring Nova, the human rocket. Next, we have Iron Patriot number five, Unbreakable part five. The conclusion of Unbreakable arrives, and nothing will ever be the same. He could have fallen alone, but instead they ran to his rescue. Losses on both sides multiply as the country spirals towards a new future. We've also got New Avengers number 21. A world must die, but which New Avenger will find the strength to press the button, and what will come in the aftermath? Next we have Original Sin number 3.3, with the familiar solicit, Everybody Has One. We've also got Secret Avengers number 6, Act 2, The Speeding Reign of Collapse. Black Widow, Spider-Woman, and Hawkeye go after Lady Bullseye and Artude Derrida. What does S.H.I.E.L.D. want with the Fury? Modok will show you. Coulson's investigation takes him to Peru. Next we have Ultimate FF number 5, with the same solicit as last month. Sue Storm, Iron Man, Falcon, together with... Make the strangest team of all. Trapped outside the universe, an old friend returns to help. The secret origin of... Revealed. Something unimaginable comes through the rift. We've also got Uncanny Avengers number 22. This is it, the final chapter of the story that began in Dimension Z. Complete unity is established, but is it too late? The fate of the seven prime timelines is decided. Kang's ultimate revenge on the Uncanny Avengers revealed. Next, we have Uncanny X-Men number 24. With the secrets held within Xavier's will laid bare, how will the X-Men cope with the shadows of his past? Could a power previously unknown to them be their greatest threat? And we've got X-Men number 17. The future has come calling, and he wants his son Shogo back. But will Jubilee and the X-Men let their bouncing baby boy go without a fight? Spoiler alert, hell no. Out in trades, we've got all-new Invaders Volume 1 Gods and Soldiers trade paperback. The Kree Empire intends to conquer the universe using an army of Norse gods. Now four heroes united by their past, 
Captain America, Namor, the original Human Torch, and the Winter Soldier must wage an alien war to save Earth. The invaders face the Kree's ultimate hunter, Tanulf the Pursuer, and take the fight straight to the Kree homeworld and the Supreme Intelligence. But can even they stand against the relentless assault of Kree-controlled gods? Plus, how does Arcus, the original Vision, figure in? And how does the Kree threat relate to a secret invader's mission from decades ago? Eisner Award winner James Robinson of Starman and Earth 2 unite with Steve Pugh of Generation X and Animal Man to create a unique modern-day take on the invaders. Collecting all new invaders number 1 through 5 and material from all new Marvel Now point one number 1. Next we have Human Torch by Carl Kessel and Scotty Young, the complete collection trade paperback. Flame On as the Fantastic Four's resident matchstick scorches into his own solo series. Johnny Storm faces his greatest shame when he is called upon to investigate a case of spontaneous human combustion, but to solve the mystery plaguing New York's bravest, will he have to fight fire with fire? Then feel the burn as the Human Torch finds himself prisoner of the Locust King. Will romance be rekindled with Johnny's old flame named Marita? And what strange tale could lead to a good old-fashioned two-in-one with his best pal the Thing? Enter the Dragon Man. As Fantastic Four stalwart Carl Kessel serves up this sizable dialogue, discover the book that ignited red-hot artist Scotty Young's career and blazed a trail for his wonderful Oz adaptations, fan-favorite variant covers, and upcoming Rocket Raccoon series. Collecting Human Torch number 1 through 12. We've also got Marvel Masterworks The Amazing Spider-Man Volume 8 trade paperback. It's time for another round of web-slinging wonderment from two of the men who put the master in Masterworks. Stan Lee and John Romita Sr. Their classic Saga of the Stone Tablet kicks off with the Kingpin's quest to decipher an ancient clay tablet whose secrets promise great power. But Spidey soon gets caught in the mix and finds himself branded public enemy number one. With the Kingpin on one side and J. Jonah Jameson on the other, turning up the heat in the Daily Bugle, things go from bad to horrible when the mob gets involved. It's a Peter Parker pressure cooker. Also featuring battles with Quicksilver, the Shocker, and the Lizard, along with a rare Stan Lee, Ross, Andrew, Spidey story from Marvel Super Heroes number 14. Collecting Amazing Spider-Man number 68 through 77 and Marvel Super Heroes number 14. Next, we have Mighty Avengers Volume 2 Family Bonding Trade Paperback. The Falcon is on the hunt, and what he finds will rock the Mighty Avengers to their core. Years ago, Gideon Mace murdered Ava Ayala's family, but now that Ava is the White Tiger, she channels the power of an ancient god of terror and bloodlust, and she just gave it full control. Pray for Gideon Mace and Ava's soul. Meanwhile, Spectrum and She-Hulk join Blue Marvel on a global adventure against a nightmare from the depths of the neutral zone and the threat that could break Adam's heart. And Ronan unmasks, realizing he can't hide from the Deathwalkers any longer. But have we revealed his secret identity just in time to kill him off? As the team deals with the fallout of Original Sin, the newest Mighty Avenger joins, and it could be you, collecting Mighty Avengers number 6 through 10. We've also got Runaways the Complete Collection Volume 1 trade paperback. They were six normal teenagers linked only by their wealthy parents' annual business meeting until a chance discovery revealed the shocking truth. Their parents are the secret criminal society known as the Pride. For years, the Pride controlled all of Los Angeles' criminal activity, ruling the city with an iron fist. And now, with their true natures exposed, the Pride will take any measure necessary to protect their organization, even if it means taking out their own children. Now on the run from their villainous parents, Nico, Chase, Carolina, Gertrude, Molly, and Alex have only each other to rely on, and they must not only survive on their own, but also somehow take down their own powerful parents before it's too late. Brian K. Vaughn and Adrian Alfona craft a thoroughly modern take on the conventional teen team comic, collecting Runaways number 1 through 18. Next, we have Spider-Man The Complete Alien Costume Saga Volume 1 trade paperback. When Spider-Man returns from the Secret Wars with a snazzy new black suit, he's faster and stronger and has an unending inbuilt supply of webbing. All the better for tussling with foes such as the Rose, Black Fox, Red Ghost, Jack-O-Lantern, Puma, and the Blob. Not only that, but he's dressed to impress the Black Cat, too, much to Mary Jane's dismay. But there's something about Peter that's not quite right. Curse that old Parker Luck, the black costume just happens to be a hungry alien symbiote, and it's grown very attached to him. Savor a chronological retelling of Spider-Man's epic wardrobe malfunction told across the three Spidey tales of the era, collecting Amazing Spider-Man number 252 to 258, Marvel Team-Up number 141 to 145, and Annual number 7, and Peter Parker the Spectacular Spider-Man number 90 through 95. 
We've also got Superior Foes of Spider-Man Volume 2, The Crime of the Century trade paperback. The foes are on the brink as the sleeper hit of the year continues. Nick Spencer and Steve Lieber bring you The Crime of the Century, but if Speed Demon can't do the time, then he shouldn't have done the crime. Boomerang has been targeted for death, but what does the Beatle know about it? Is Overdrive a rat for the feds? Can Shocker and Boomerang repair their relationship? And did we seriously just use that question to try to sell a book? And did you ever wonder what Shocker does on his day off? Because the answer turns out to be, get punched, repeatedly. It's the second serving of the greatest villain book on the stands today. Crime does pay, but the foes just might pay harder. Collecting the superior foes of Spider-Man number 7-11. through 11. And we've got X-Men Magneto Testament trade paperback, new printing. In 1935, Max Eisenhardt was a schoolboy who happened to be Jewish in Nazi Germany. The definitive origin story of one of Marvel's greatest icons begins with a silver chain and a crush on a girl, and quickly turns into a harrowing struggle for survival against the inexorable machine of Hitler's final solution. Named Best Miniseries of 2008 by IGN, X-Men Magneto Testament follows Max Eisenhardt from 1935 to 1945 as he fights to protect his family and a Romanian girl named Magda from the indignities of a Nuremberg schoolyard, the horrors of war-stricken Poland, and the unfathomable atrocities of Auschwitz-Birkenau. This heartbreaking and historically accurate look at the childhood of one of the most popular X-Men also features in-depth endnotes and extras providing further historical context, including a comprehensive teacher's guide, collecting X-Men Magneto Testament number 1-5. through five. Alright, so that's it for Marvel this week, but there's still plenty of other books out as well, so be sure to check out my YouTube channel at he'sgotissues.com to see both the DC and Indies videos for this week, as well as my featured video with the usual roundup of all my favorites for the week with a little more depth and insight than you get here. And if you like these videos, be sure to let me know by leaving a comment and subscribing. You could also follow He's Got Issues on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and Tumblr to see everything I'm reading as I read it. So until next week, I'm John Cooney, and I've got issues.